Clap sync, one, two, three. That was actually not bad. You and I timed that fairly well. You can see the spike and everything. Claps, sinks, right? Now he wants to do a clap sync. Last episode he was like, I'm too good for clap sync. I was clapping for the sink. <laughs> Sink. You ever seen those pictures where it's like, bro, China pollutes this much, let that sink uh, let that sink in, and then they just show like a sink outside your house and it's like, let that sink in, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, my computer was working really good up until this point. Disappointed by this generation entirely. Wait, you actually go on gay porn hub? And welcome back to Just Your Average <laughs> Podcast. I'm Chris, that's Chris, that's Chad, and he watches gay porn. I apparently. hate all of you. Nothing. Well, there's no proof. Gay porn has cool stories sometimes. <laughs> Gachi Boss. How does that penis accidentally fall in your butt? You guys know about Gachi Boss? Oh it's like a Japanese gay porno where it's like a wrestling thing where they have like wrestling matches and then they go into the locker room and fuck. It's his <laughs> <laughs> I kind of wish we started with the Mormon stuff yeah, instead. Yeah, yeah. But we started with gay porn and it's the same thing. Gachi, Hi, Cade. Gachi Boss, bro. I think it's called Gachi Boss. Okay. My friend Cade is gay... And his entire family's Mormons. <laughs> Ooh, that's a rough mix. I don't know. It could be worse. It could be like militant Christians who like live out in the woods. True. Or he could be beheaded and thrown off a building in the Middle East. So Mormon seems like a pretty sweet deal in my opinion. Yeah, but I mean like Mormons for, for like Mexico. Yeah. where we live, it's, like, actually, it's comparatively not Yeah, great. yeah. Those Mormons in Mexico aren't actually Mormons. They were the... Uh... They're the sect that wanted to keep doing polygamy after the Church of Mormon was like, nope, no more polygamy, and they were like, fuck it, we're going to Mexico. It's like, you want to have eight fucking wives? No, can't do that. It's just, it's not even like eight wives, it's like eight wives that are all related. Like, about, okay. like yeah, it's like, fucking it's just, weird. A girlfriend could be like super like self-conscious, being like, why'd you look at that girl? Imagine having like five of them, being like... But you've been, ra- like, ugh. you do the whole, um grooming thing where you like start hanging out with them when they're like 12 and like get them to be like no it's fine it's fine yeah it's fucking uh that show with that famous lady on tlc where she goes around and like talks about scientology and mormonism (laughs) we live in a weird fucking world it was weirder back in the day i don't think so because (laughs) weird people would just get killed in the streets i think now it's gotten to the point where it's like hey you want to fuck Trees, sure. It's yeah, once we stopped killing people we didn't like, shitty got, shit got shittier. You notice that? Like, once public execution stopped being a thing, everything got way worse. There are a lot of things we don't agree with on Just Your Average Podcast. I mean, That's think one about of those it. Things well, that now we're in the woke culture. Where we're in like, the what culture? Woke, woke. culture. Go no, it's just stupid. Shut up. So it's like, Get if you want to have sex with that tree, it's there right to have sex with that yeah but did the tree give consent oh my god oh it's a living being did the tree cons- uh, that's an even better argument <laughs> towards woke culture did the tree identify if we ever see that, like, orientation that tree did not say you could stick your penis on it on it you just oh, you- kind of rub it around you don't put <laughs> it in you just find a hole that a woodpecker's in and then you fucking stick your pecker into it and the pecker hits the pecker uh-huh. <laughs> it's a sex joke <laughs> If you don't get it, go to www.meatspin.com. I fucked what? a plastic chair once on a dare. How'd that feel? <laughs> Hurt super bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it. <laughs> I almost screamed into the microphone for that one. I fucking proved them wrong. Oh, they, said, God. <laughs> they said it couldn't be done. You were like, and watch me. It was did you get Kobe. anything? <laughs> Who bet me? Did you get anything out of it? No, it hurt super bad. I did it for a couple seconds. I was like, this is stupid. And then we all smashed the chair. Because we were like, well, no one can sit on it anymore. It was like one of those white plastic. I mean, they could have sat on it. It would have nah, been. My dick was on it. Nobody wants that. I want that. I like my dick. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it stands up whenever I want it to. Yeah, right. It does cool stuff. It talks to me. Just wait to hit thirty. In a year. Big, come on, dick. No. It's an old really? Because apparently your penis works fine, Chad. Yeah. You're having another baby. <laughs> You had chemo like eight times. And you're still shooting. A little more than eight times. You're shooting irradiated sperm <laughs> all over the place. His daughter's gonna come out and it's like, I'm Michael! You know, maybe that's why she's into Satan. Maybe. Dude, I just figured it out. It the like baby he's gonna baby. have is gonna be Michael, and the baby he currently has is Satan. Yeah. It's because God tried to kill you with cancer, and then you survived, and then when you had a kid, Satan was like, fuck yeah, It's like secretly in. when I was drunk, I just made a pact with the devil. Right. <laughs> when <laughs> it was black, All your children will be mine. Listen, just get me through this thing, and all right, buddy. And then you got it again, and you were like, what the fuck, Satan? And he was like, that was right. like, you're really drunk. I'm a bad guy, but I don't like to take yeah, advantage yeah, yeah. of drunk hold on, people. Hold on. 
it's like that whitest kids you know where all the devils like are like Ouija board guys and like you know Satan says fun and games are a devil's like sole purpose <laughs> they can't swear devil <laughs> went down to Georgia man devil went down to Georgia god I hate that song it's alright we hate ourselves uh, uh, I've grown we... to love myself I haven't I'm pretty <laughs> rad I think a lot of people like me Chris is the, probably the, this Chris is probably the biggest narcissist ever it's it's fine a, let him be it's a joke he balances out the rest of us <laughs> somebody needs to be confident after the poop stories we heard last time come on no. those are awesome yeah I'll tell them again that's fun well, no. <laughs> I can tell some nah I don't know cause you can tell plenty of stories my mom was like Chris you gotta <laughs> stop telling people things <laughs> <laughs> like, my mom and Roscoe. When I was like Rocco, I was like but Roscoe. Ma. <laughs> but ma, it's funny. <laughs> my butt is an explosive. Imagine if your mom was like one of the only people that just always disliked our videos. <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad. No, no, it's you, Chad. She doesn't know how the like system works. She's an old lady. I had to solve a problem for an old man today who got pissed off because he wasn't on a new support level, and it's like, all right, well, I can't help you with that. Like support, like like moral. No, because I do IT. Oh, okay. I didn't know if you knew this or not. No, I know. I was yeah, just, just fun. trying to make jokes. No, that's all right. My brain is just not cognitively working. Yeah. But yeah, you got pissed off. And wanted to talk to the owner, and the owner's in like Italy right now. And <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, that's not happening. Let me thought we could do is long distance phone. <laughs> Dude, Dude, I would get fired in a heartbeat. <laughs> there's this old guy we work with called uh, Crazy Johnny, and he invented gutter guard. You know, the thing you put over your... Yeah, so why does he not have, like, millions of dollars? He does. Oh, okay. His wife is a supermodel in Italy. He sends his kid around the world, and he drives, like, a crappy beat-up Honda and works at the pier with us. (laughs) Might as well. And it's like, what are you doing, Johnny? And he was like, well, I'd be doing nothing. And I was like, all right. (laughs) It's like, gotta do something to take up your time. He sits around and bullshits with all these fucking assholes all day. He pulled me and Corey aside and started telling us about Vietnam. And we were like, oh, man, you got drafted? And he was like, no, I signed up. I did three tours. And it was like, jeez, you really enjoyed it? And he was like, I had fun over there it's like, whoa. It's like all right out of all the wars to have fun. yeah right wasn't no. he not like on the main lines though no i think he i don't know i mean i was just like what are you talking about he's like yeah you know we did some shit fucking shot some people people shot at us it's nom nah, it was fun it was life and it was like uh, you're like all yeah. right especially the great crazy he's uh he's like that's why i figured out gutter guard yeah probably, <laughs> probably like, brain sucks sitting, sitting <laughs> all the the rooms. Just, this fucking sucks i wish there was some sort of guard over me <laughs> sort of gutter guy <gasps> everything fell make, into place yeah, I have to make it back <laughs> or no it was his buddy who got shot who was like remember gutter guy he, like, he was like I will Just totally ripped him off yeah <laughs> Yeah, he gives him the letter, give this to my wife. And he, like, reads it, and he's like, oh, gutter guard, that's a fucking good idea. <laughs> Dude, fuck, that bitch. fuck your wife. <laughs> the wife's still waiting for that letter. <laughs> Ten Dan, you ain't got no legs. Yeah, basically. That's fine. Want to really mess up story? Sure. Penises can be cut open like bananas. Mm-hmm. Damn, bro. I read, a, I read a book about that. Did you Dude, guys? it's like when you break a dick, it's not, like, actually broken. I read a book. It's... All right, this side's back into Vietnam. I read about that guy that had, like, 93... This is the book. <laughs> that had 93 confirmed kills as a sniper, which is, like, in fucking saying that Chris Kyle kid said he broke it, but he's a liar who then got killed, so whatever. <laughs> uh, so this guy was, like, talking about how he was hunting this Russian female sniper in the woods, and she used to, like, mutilate people that they would send to, after her, and he was talking one day, like, some guy came, like, walking to the front gate, like, holding his junk, and they're like, what's wrong, what's wrong? And when he moved his hands, he said it fell out like jelly... And she had fucking cut from, like, his taint up to the tip of his penis and pulled it open and pushed everything out and then sent him on his way back to the base, like, stop looking for me. Fucking brutal, right? You brought up cut penises. Just to let you know, Chad, I'm getting a Dragon Ball tattoo for my next tattoo after Christmas. Surprise, eat my dick. It's gonna be all seven Dragon Balls. Oh, you gotta get one specific one that means something to you. It was going to be six just because it's the one that's out of the way. Yeah. Nobody ever thinks about it and you're just like, yeah. But no, I'm going to get all seven. Right. I want a tattoo. Hey, oh, guess boy. what? You're having another baby, so weigh your I pros mean, and cons. You, you could can... sell the baby on the black market. If we get a hair dryer, we can do like prison style. We just need the can motor. Can you do like a perfect image of Vegeta? Yeah, dude. I'm so good at art. <laughs> <Thanks>. <laughs> Steadiest hand in the West. <laughs> You've seen my art. I'm super good. <laughs> Steadiest hand. 
like a cheesy like home movie style Vegeta. I would just draw one of my pictures and then give him the Saiyan hair and be like, just, like put it on his back. It's like, yeah, it looks totally like Vegeta. Like a giant dick man on his forehead. I'd make like a fat guy with his dick hanging out and then you the start Carl. Yeah, I would just draw Carl from Aqua Teen and be like, no, it's totally Vegeta, and you'd be like in a mirror, like oh. I can see it. It's got the blue hair. It's like Super Saiyan Indigo. I'm pretty sure someone actually got that tattoo of like Carl doing his pose, but he has Saiyan hair. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a real image. So did you guys hear about the cannibal ants who built a thriving society in the abandoned nuclear bunker? And now they escape. Hold on, the cannibal what? Cannibal ants Dude. built a thriving society in the abandoned nuclear I, I bunker. I hadn't heard about them, who but cares? I heard about those crazy Argentinian ants that like are genociding other ant populations. Ants are fucking crazy. And here's the thing, like the way ants work is by scent. Right? So, like, one nest smells a certain way, and if it smells another nest, they go to war, kill them, and enslave. Yeah. Ants are fucking cool. But this one Argentinian ant uh, species, they're, like, they're finding it in China and stuff, and they're like, what happens if we put two in a cage together? And they work together. They don't kill each other instantly. So that means this one nest in Argentina is global, and it might be the largest living organism on the planet. And they fucking, they just murder everything everything dies they're like army ants on crack it's so cool <laughs> and i want to see these guys fight those guys <laughs> he's just like <laughs> anarchy versus anarchy yeah cannibal nuclear cannibal ants oh versus God. like this global well, what would you do if you saw ants like rat ants <laughs> like, like what like fallout we have rat oh, roaches the giant, rat ants the giant ants rad. like rad ro- okay yeah i understand yeah, yeah. the words that are coming like out uh, in new vegas yeah, when, yeah. You, when you leave uh the prim. place yeah prim or whatever they call it yeah. Novak. When you leave Novak, they're right outside Novak. <laughs> I like Fallout. Ants are gonna fuck us up. Ants Doubtful. are so cool. They're super strong, super smart. They can survive for under, their size. They can survive underwater without oxygen for three days. It's unnecessary. Uh, it means they can travel the oceans, man. <laughs> no. If they go super fast, if they build some sort of like ant like super high. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They resort to cannibalism not only to survive but to thrive. Yeah, man. And they, 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 when they take over a rival's nest, they enslave all their workers. And That's since hot. they can't talk to each other, they're using violence to get the worker to do the thing they want. <laughs> like, whoa! <laughs> well, well, they said it. humans are the only I know, fucked up right? ones. What other insects do you see doing that? Uh, bees don't do that. They just kill each other in mass. Yeah. Roaches, I think they all work together, which is kind of scary. I think they're all for themselves, because as soon as they lose their head, fuck it. They, how long do they live? Like 48 hours? Without? Seven, seven, almost a week. And the only reason they die is because they can't eat. Yeah. So if they evolve to have like a sucker come out when their head comes off. <laughs> yeah. That'd just... be freaky as shit. All of a sudden you see it. Like, um, <laughs> from Resident Evil 4. Oh, God, uh, yeah. What are they called? I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember. I, it begins with a G, I think. Yeah. Resident Evil's cool, too. I want to play the new one. Geriatrics. The remake? Yeah. I played it. I got a remake. Oh, it's fucking awesome. Um, they changed a lot. They got rid of the sewer section with the giant spiders. Did and... they get rid of the tank controls? Uh, I turned them on. Oh, all right. I like the tank controls. They were better. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they gave you the A story for Leon, the B story for Leon, the A story for Claire, the B story for Claire. There's not really much variation. Mr. X is fucking scary in this game. <laughs> Isn't it, uh, just... It's, it's the police station... And then you go into the umbrella facility, and then you escape. No, Mr. X, isn't it? Isn't that uh, what Nemesis was? Uh, Mr. X is part of the T-Weapon series, I believe. Oh, God. Because uh, he kind of works like Nemesis. He's just this big dude. Yeah, just a hulking a mass coat. of and, gonna fuck you up. And like the first time you see him, there's like an exploded helicopter in the side of the police station. You're like, how am I going to get through that? And then it's just gone, and you're like, okay. And then there's a big guy, and you like fucking unload on him, and he won't go down. And you're like, and this is life now. And now the whole game is just running away from him. Like, you'll be, <laughs> you'll be doing a puzzle, and you hear, poof, 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 and you're like, fuck. And you gotta like run away, and then you gotta come back. Or you'll open a door and he's there and you shut the door and he throws the door open. And <laughs> You're it's just, just like, like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops. Did you play the reboot? Of what? what? Resident Evil? Like the... The first one? Like I didn't play... The newest H- one where like you're in the house and it's like the... I didn't, seven. Game. I didn't play uh, it's seven. seven. It's just re- called Resident Evil. Yeah, it's called Resident Evils, I think, yeah. with an S. I didn't play that one. Cause, it's um, one where you're like... In the, like, it seemed fucking... too first person. I thought shooter. that was Resident Evil Seven. No, it's, uh, it's... It, it is. I think the seventh in the series, but they call it like Resident Evil because it's the yeah. rebranding of the. Yeah, Resident and Chris Evil. shows up. Look, just fuck Konami at this point. All right, Capcom, bro. <sighs> Capcom. 
Potato, potato. Capcom's just as bad. Besides her dissing Mega Man so much. They fucking screwed Mega Man over. They kind of fucked Street Fighter over. They really fucked Street Fighter over. Street Fighter Five. I like it. I wanted it to. They ruined my Zangief. All right. (laughs) They ruined Street Fighter. They made Ken look like a fucking whore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The art style sucks balls. But I'm talking like the net code was great. Um, Well, the problem is like they they wanted. how do I word this? They wanted way more money. <laughs> so yeah. they did some things, like some DLC practices that, that weren't acceptable. Were like, you know when you when they released Marvel vs. Capcom 3 with the on-disc DLC? And it was like, I already paid 60 bucks for the game, give me Dormammu. And they're like, nope. And they were like, hey, here's a code where you can unlock him even though he's on the disc. Well, we love Mortal Kombat, but Mortal Kombat kind of does the same thing. Well, Ed Boon is more straightforward, like, hey, like we're going to give you 16 characters, and then over the next four years, we're going to release three characters every year. Pay into it if you want. If you don't, get fucked. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, I don't want Joker or Spawn. I don't really I care. I want Spawn, but Joker but I, looks retarded. I want Sindel. So, like, I'm psyched for that. Sindel's cool. Nah, Terminator, that's all you need. Terminator is cool. I bought Terminator as soon as I saw him because I needed it. I'm a big Spawn fan, so I hope he gets Spawn. Oh, I'm gonna. Yeah. I'm, I'm a comic. Well, I hate how they made Joker look in this. I hope it's a joke. Why? What does he look like? Bad. Like. That doesn't explain anything for me. It's like. It looks like, like just some fucking some kid dressing up as with Joker. with makeup and a purple suit. Is it, like. It's not. Suicide he... Squad? No. no. It's it's like they took um. I'd rather have Jared Leto's. Yeah, no, they, they took um, the cartoon original uh, Batman anim- animated series. They kind of did make him look like Jared Leto a little bit. No. Yeah, he's just some guy. This looks like a dude doesn't have any like the that's depressing. Facial, like I'm okay without the scars. The scars were stupid. I hate that Heath Ledger's Joker was like, look scars, and now everyone's like, I got these scars, and it's like it's not that impressive. Oh, oh, I've been working on my impression of Heath Ledger's Joker. Okay, ready? Did I ever tell you how I got these scars? <laughs> Nailed it. Pretty much. Golf club. I fucking hate Heath Ledger's Joker. I don't hate it. I just I dislike it, the fact that it's so it's... overhyped. See, my, my thing is... He's got peanut butter in his mouth and he can't get it out. I really wish they didn't, like, push, he's an anarchist yeah. thing. Yeah. Just make him a dude that's, like, I like the when he burns the money. That I like the when he's like, do I look like somebody who has a plan? Yeah. Make him, like, seem like the fucking that's unhinged guy. That's very Joker-ish, where but he gets all the money. when he's like, it. I'm an agent of chaos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I have really bad dry mouth. Really bad dry mouth. I smoked <laughs> too much weed before this. But then you have, like, the friggin', uh, what's his name, Joaquin Phoenix. He's like, ha, <laughs> ha! Joaquin Phoenix is... Uh, we already did a video. That was He's, a key Joaquin Phoenix laugh, by the that way. That was really good, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you don't look like you're in pain while you're doing it. <laughs> he laughs. No, you have to see it. It's really good. I'm probably not going to. Uh, it's fine. Oh, dude. I found an actual pretty good cam of Dark Fate. What's Dark Fate? Terminator. What's a, what do you mean, cam? We pay to see every movie. I pay we to watch. see everything. No, our viewers know I'm a dirty fucking... Dirty cunt. Dirty pirate. <laughs> you both went two very different off yeah, yeah, yeah. that. I don't care. I still I'll hold it to the very last end. And Chad, you can call me for it. Fucking Mark Hamill is the only Joker I ever wanted. Uh, I never uh, disagree yeah, with no you. One, no one disagrees with that statement. No, but Chad that's likes like, to like no, but I'm, no, but I like to think of the live action. Yeah. Oh, so you wanted John Romero? Yeah. Oh. Uh, what the fuck is wrong with you? Original 60s. Or no, Caesar Romero. Caesar Romero. That's Caesar. why I'm like, yeah. who? Yeah, no, John Romero was Wait, the yeah. zombies guy. John Romero, yeah. George Romero. George. Whatever. Georgie. Sure. George fucking made a really cool movie and then forgot what his metaphor was and just made a bunch of really bad ones. Oh, I still think things. Land of the Dead's a great movie. Nah. Well. John Leguizamo was like, I just want to see what it's like. Even though you're not going to know what it's like. Was that John Leguizamo? Yeah. I hate people that hate on John Leguizamo. Ah, uh, you ever seen The Pest? Yes. It's amazing. Uh, <laughs> it's like the guy who has the who played the voice of Iago. What's the name? Uh, Gilbert Godfrey. I fucking love Gilbert Godfrey. If you hate yeah, Gilbert but his Godfrey, fucking it's voice mad. is terrible. Exactly, but it's a it, shtick. It's he. If you hear him talk, he's very quiet and very calm. He Let me tell you this, people. But when he's on, he's not like this all the time. Yeah, when he's on stage, it's like when Bobcat uh, Goldfrey would do the, <laughs> the voice. Like uh, that's his routine. 
but he's gotten away from it. Now he just goes on stage and tells horrible, horrible rape jokes. And everyone loves it. <laughs> he tells the filthiest fucking joke. And because he's an old guy, he's not afraid to get up there and go, a black and a Jew walked into a bar. And you're just like, God damn, Gilbert. It's like, take a few steps. <laughs> who's like, no, it's even better. Go further, Gilbert. Get worse. Cause that's who's like people... the one comedian you were just shocked how vulgar they were? Gilbert. I didn't know Gilbert. he was that crazy. What about uh, Bob Saget? Bob Saget, I feel like... I, Do you I, think he's funny or you think he's just too, like... I have try hard house guys so I'm like fuck this fuck yes, that yes that's exactly it's what it that is the fucking Olsen twins so we're gonna rape them blah, blah, I'm gonna blah. rape their tight little cunts and you're like alright Bob come on like, mm. uh, uh, be funny before you be Robin vulgar. like listen to Robin Williams bef- like yeah. no, not I can imagine seeing like Disney the Roger Coke Coke Mo- days. Robin dude like Williams. not even any of his stand up if you watched Mork and Mindy and almost all of his movies you were like wow he's like a normal person and then you watch all his stand up and you're like what the mm. fuck cause he's flying on yeah okay yeah <laughs> He is balls to the wall. Just, da, 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 you know, and it's like, yeah, and you're yes. like, wow, this is Aladdin all over again. But it's so funny. Oh, you I know they watch Aladdin again the other day. His, it's awful. His the wife, new one? Wait, you're, yeah, that is terrible. His daughter signed a contract where his likeness can't be used for 25 years, and it's super fucking good. I'm his glad daughter they did pretty that. cute. She dressed Zelda? up as Zelda, or Link the other day. Her name is Zelda. I know, she dressed up as Link the other day, he being like, oh. loves. Yeah, Legend of Zelda. That's yeah. like one of those cool little. Things. And Miyamoto was like, uh, "Do you want to do one of our commercials, maybe?" I was like, yeah, "Absolutely." He was like, "Yeah, I named my daughter after your fucking character. Let's go, bro." You voice a character, you bitch. Well, now he's dead. So. Yeah, Zelda doesn't really have voice acting. Though. Dude, when yeah, Robin Williams, which ones? Breath when, of the Wild. Oh, I didn't play Breath. When of Robin Williams really died, good. his brother got so sad. Dude, I cried too. I'm not gonna lie. I, dude, we went to Ben's bachelor party, and I was bored, so I just went to the limo and started drinking. And I started talking to the limo driver, and he's a big Robin Williams fan. Me and him got teary-eyed talking about it. I'm just wasted being like, dude, he was, he was too good. <laughs> he was. He was too great. And um, I listened to Harmon Town, which is uh, Dan Harmon's podcast. The guy's a dumbass. Don't listen to it. Uh, but he, Robin Williams happened to show up during it. And they're like, Robin, you want to come up on the stage and do some talking? And he politely goes, nope. Don't feel like it. And then a couple days later, he kills himself. And it's like, shit. The signs were there, man. We could have saved him. Well, I mean, he also knew what degenerative diseases yeah, he had, yeah, so he yeah. was like, I just don't want people to have to deal with it. Yeah, he doesn't want to Michael J. Fox himself, where we're slowly watching him die to Parkinson's, and it's like... Ew. Yeah, but at that point, you just hand Michael J. Fox a fucking glass of red wine and on a white carpet, and there you go, you got art. There's that whole Larry David thing where Michael J. Fox lives above him, and, like, he's constantly <laughs> stomping, so Larry's like, just shut the fuck up, and he goes up and he sees it's Michael J. Fox. I don't care how bad Robin Williams got, I would have taken him in. Yeah, I would have fucking hugged him. Told him he was a cool guy. Yeah. Shit uh, happens. We're losing, yeah. like, all the good people. That's... I was thinking about this. Anyone you looked up to as a kid is about to die. Yeah. Or it's, such it's a, just a horrible person, now. It's a, such a... Like, King Buzzo is gonna die pretty soon. And that terror... He's, he's only, like, what, 50-something? 50, 50, 60. Yeah, but I think he's 60, yeah. Fucking years of touring and drugs. Yeah. Betty Wade's like, 97. She'll never die. Dude, they, they're you keeping her on, like, God doesn't super want her medicine to, yeah. and everything. <laughs> they're like, we need to keep... Once she dies, everybody's just going to go into a deep depression. The church depression. and the, like, medical community got together. And, and they like, were like, we <laughs> have some holy medicine. Like, we have super Jesus blood. Scientology's <laughs> like, you know how Tom Cruise stays young? Betty White, <laughs> it's your day. Dude, when Tom Cruise dies, that's going to suck. Because uh, there'll be no more good action movies. See, he hates Tom Cruise and me and you. Like, Why? All right, separate the man from the art. Are his movies enjoyable? Do you like Mission Impossible? Did you like Edge of Tomorrow? Uh, that's the one movie I, of his I haven't seen. Oh, it's oh, pretty it's good. so good. It, no, um, it's not Edge of Tomorrow. It's Live, Die, Repeat. That's what the original fucking name was. That's what the anime was. is called, but that wouldn't sell well in the West. But that was what the, they originally titled it, and then they yeah. reached well, because it was of based it. off a of manga. Yeah, Named Live, Die, Repeat. So, yeah, whatever, though. What's your um, favorite Tom Cruise movie? Hmm. Uh, Cocktail? I don't think I saw that one. No, I'm kidding. Cocktails, <laughs> not that good. I don't know. I really liked the most recent Mission Impossible. Yeah. Uh, Chris, him and Chris Hemsworth, not Chris Hemsworth. Henry Cavill. Henry Cavill were pretty cool. Dude, that movie was so good. That bathroom scene where Henry Cavill like 
charges like his this, fist. He's like, before, his yeah, fist. <laughs> before he gets in the what fight. What is that story with that? Uh, they need to scan because you know Mission Impossible they like to do the rubber masks. No, I mean like the fucking shotgun hands. Oh, oh, he's just badass. He's so like this guy's doing all this taekwondo and shit like that. And he's just straight up runs up and fucking boxes the sh- just gets him against the wall, works his ribs so he drops his hand, works his face, like he just boxes him, like Tyson. You know, he runs I, up to him. Yeah, like but Tyson. I thought he had like shotgun hands or something. Okay, no, no it's, it's just him just, being super macho badass. Yeah, it's just him like rolling his sleeves up and cocking his God. fist and just getting ready. And we need more action movies like that. Exactly, because we don't have any more like super macho, ridiculous action movies. Anymore. Hobbs and Shaw. I haven't seen it. Yet. So it's supposed to be good. Ridiculous. It's There's, not as good as I thought it was going to be. Isn't there a scene where like seven Hawaiian guys flip a tank over? It's just when they get to the Hawaii. I, that's the only part I want to see. Like the best scenes are just when it's just The Rock and Jason Statham. Yeah. But I don't know. I had too, you know, I had way too much hype for that movie. Yep. I had zero hype because I hate the Fast and the Furious movies. I love the. After like the when the rocket in because the old stuff where they're like oh, we're street racers bro. we're a family that's where i'm like that's gay and then they're like hey rock do action in the corner just go <laughs> do stuff go be buff and idris all right it's like idris elba super buff bald guy super cool the rock super buff bald guy super cool jason statham super buff bald guy super cool vin diesel throw him eh, he's not so buff and he was i like so vin diesel's yeah. weird he's like a big guy but he's not defined he's pudgy. at all he's like the pudgy jack guy yeah. And, like, he was practicing, like, Muay Thai with Tony Ja for a little bit. He was good in the past five. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> was The Rock in that Tooth Fairy movie? Yeah. <laughs> with, uh... Oh, that what's was her just, name? No, I honestly think Judy that was Garland. just a bad contract thing where he's like, you can make this movie, but you need to be in this movie. Yeah. Who cares? I That's saw... Fucking... Did you guys see The Rock's Skyscraper? Yeah. Where he's a dude without a leg and he has to climb a burning skyscraper? I watched The Wasted, so I don't really remember. Oh, but... I watched it wasted and i do remember because i was laughing the whole was it time good? it's not a good movie but it's fucking hysterical uh, what's the other one he did the disaster movie san andreas i didn't see that one that, that was one good no battlefield los angeles that was no, that was different. awful was but that so, movie the, i was so sad because that movie was so cool i like the idea though that it's it's like here's a big action movie and here's some soldiers and we're just gonna film them dealing with it like there's no like super smart tech guy that's gonna hack the aliens and there's no like damsel in distress it's just like watch these marines fight aliens so you're different to me yeah i like seeing like the normal people go up against that stuff you like more of the army and, marines yeah type people well going I, against you it. like to see the people who are conditioned for it get i fuck. like tactical operator bullshit like room sweeping and shit that gets my dick so fucking hard <laughs> when it's like when you watch it and it's cool and like you can see like the guys like doing points and flashing and it's fucking like the training and the expertise, like John Wick when he's going in room so to room, good. it's so good. I have to see the John Wick series, dude. Have oh, you ever seen God. a good movie? He's Space not a big balls. movie guy. He I'm likes really uh, not. Posse with Mario Van Peebles. <laughs> I don't know what that is. <laughs> I like really Birdcage. Birdcage. Yeah, Robin Williams yeah. and uh, what's his face? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a good movie. One Hour Photo. It's a good Robin Williams. Have you seen that? You said Birdcage. I thought you were talking about that new Sandra Bullock movie. No, it's uh, Bird Box. Bird Box. Bird Box. Which wasn't a terrible movie, but it was definitely not good. It was. It bad. had cool stuff, and I'm like, I don't think people could drive that well with the GPS. No. There's also no such thing as like a sensor of that type. There are cameras, but there's no sensor. I don't know. Some of the new Audis have crazy fucking yeah. sensors. Just give me a Tesla. Eh. Teslas catch on fire. I know. Yeah. It's just the one, and everyone's blowing it out yeah. of proportion. It's like, well, of course. Dude, I don't know. Never mind. I can't say that. What? I was going to share some trade secrets about the Audi company that i cannot say on camera because i might get fired because nda's yeah we didn't sign anything it's a non-verbal contract i yeah. work for audi if i start talking shit about audi i was so mad when it wouldn't let me on the pier the other day the i say guys that was so stupid you need this what's it called a twig a transportation worker identification credential but i have like a i need an escort badge because I, yeah. I don't want it's he like just has a pier pass it's a hundred and something dollars so i'm like i can't afford that right now I got my... T- uh, no, I'm not going to run out to my car to get it. That'd be stupid. Yeah. Yeah. But, um... Look it up. <laughs> yeah, Twit cards. They let you... We... With my Twit card, I can go onto any, uh, uh, like, transportation, anything. I can go on any pier. I can go on any airport. I can just flash it, and they have to let me through. Well, they don't have to, but... Like, I can go on the runway. Yeah, they could, you could just be like, I'm going to wave my dick out on the yeah, runway. Yeah, I'm going to stand like, here, and they're he like, had the card. he has a Twit card. He's allowed to do it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we, there's these guys, and they were just, you know, it's that once-a-year thing where they got to pretend like, like they're the doing it. like the super macho being like... They were, like, laughing. They're like, 
what do you think you're doing? You can only use this ten times. And I'm like, dude, nobody told me that. No. Like, dude, you should have called Bob, because Bob comes out. Cause... No, but the thing is, I was mad. They're like, you work for Rocco? And I'm like, Chris Rock? I want to yeah. That. No, I'm like, yeah. And they're like, he should know this. He should have told you. And I'm like, dude, don't even say this to him. I don't need him having any more stress. Well, actually, I told him, and he was like, he was like, Chad should have just fucking flown past them. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have guns. They can't do shit. <laughs> no, but they're like, you're going to get charged like $13,000 for being on the pier. Dude, it's a ten grand fine to smoke anywhere in that facility and everyone's smoking cigarettes constantly so it's like yeah all right fucking, fucking shitty pipe guy i hate that guy they're just mad because unicar is the boss and we fuck everyone over <laughs> our job is to get everyone else in trouble yeah. <laughs> so everyone hates us Might as well. well it's stupid shit like why would they leave cars running they leave windows down they like rear end all the car remember the other day with all the hondas like literally every honda we saw they had one of those things called the fucking uh they have tow hooks on the front that they use to lash the cars oh, down God, on the yeah. boat. So, like, every, every car had a giant gouge in the fucking back bumper, and it's from the car behind it just not stopping in time and fucking ramming it. So we wrote up, like, 80 damages of that. It's like, <laughs> when your job is literally driving cars all day, you think you would get better. Like, it's <laughs> the amount of yelling of that happens at this job. Oh, my God. Because from, like, so the, funny. like, two competent guys... They were there. They were like, whoa, 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 what the fuck are you doing? Then, All the time. And then the person will get out of the car, don't fucking yell at me, and it's like, fucking drive right. And it never has come to blows, but it's gotten to like, you know how like people do the thing where they're like nose to nose yeah. screaming at each other, and like Unicar is just sitting there like, what the fuck is going <laughs> on? It's like a bunch of idiots. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm I so sad I have to get another job. Yeah. What? I already have it. I need to watch a couple training videos and I'm in. What is it? I'm delivering packages he's an amazon delivery driver what a loser right (laughs) i don't work for amazon though oh okay you work for a subsidiary that'll fire you at any time right yeah we'll see it's fine i don't give a shit it's 16 an hour starting out i gotta raise i almost got a job for uh qps doing delivering packages Mm. yeah but that's a union and that's not a bad job but i uh showed up to the interview and it's like me and 80 other people in this like room that's yeah. small. And she goes, so we overhired by 300 people, but stick around and you might get the job. Half the people left and I didn't have a ride because I got a ride there. So I was like, well, I You're like, I'm... might as well stay. So she's like interviewing me and she's like, I see you have a 10 year gap with no work history. And I was like, well, I was a roadie for a band. Then I didn't want to work for a couple of years. <laughs> Just like, would you be willing to cut your hair? No. And she was like, next. And I was like, what about the factory job? And she looked me in the eye and went, you don't want to work in the factory. And I was like, okay. Like, right, thanks. <laughs> well, I'm glad I wasted my time. See, I'm at the point now where like I worked at Geno's for like seven years straight. Then first it was like dominant. Well, I had the other jobs, but started at Geno's. It was like seven years. Then Ronzio for like, what, a year maybe? Dude, blessed on that. It was like nine months. Yeah, then it was like, what's it called? That fucking sales job. And now, like a call center? No. Over the last three months, you've had about three five jobs. different jobs. Well, it was that one. Then it was... Oh, no, it was Pizza Heaven. Then it was the sales job. Then it was Unicar. Now it's this job. I uh, <sighs> I didn't get a... So my resume is like, fuck you now. You look like somebody that can't hold a job. Yeah, well, dude, mine like, is no, like... No, I just hate shitty jobs, so I quit. <laughs> mine is I had a job when I was 16... Then nothing. Then I got a job when I was 24. And it's just like, what were you doing? Lots of drugs. Partying. That's when you go, sir, I'm just trying to change my life for the better. No, I, I say I, I give a whole mumbo jumbo like, oh, I was trying to be an artist and I did a lot more starving than art, you know? And you're like, <laughs> oh, haha, you're personable and charismatic. And I'm like, yes. You're a human being. And you're like, yes, I am human. I'm How do totally, you do? I am not a monster. Trust me. <laughs> you know who is a monster? Your mom. Are we going to talk about T.I. now? I disagree. I mean, it's he's Dude, going it's about it wrong. so creepy. But, like, kids today are having sex at 11. Like, that's Yeah, but not... that's not 17. Yeah, she's when she yeah, turns but... 18, he can't do it anymore. Yeah, but there's it's not a, a thing, problem. There's a thing when you can be a good parent and, like, mentor your kids to be better. And then there's a thing where you can, like, drill that fucking crazy. Hey, Chad, no matter how much mentoring you do, this is going to ruin your child. Can I finish? No. No. I agree with him wholeheartedly. Hold on. No. Like, technology will easily ruin your... T- technology is the reason I'm the way I am, dude. Yeah, dude. Like, <laughs> no, if you ever... I, think opinion... I said no. Let me say what I was... 
sheltering kids just makes them worse because once they have a taste of the good life, they splurge in it. Yeah, and it ruins their but life. just I don't know. I I like the idea of a father being like, I'm gonna make sure you don't wind up in a gangbang video, you know? Because remember, fucking R. Kelly was pissing on underage girls. Like that shit happened. Yeah, it was probably bros with R. Kelly. That's what I'm saying. So Ti is like, I know what the fuck. Slaps is like, we're gonna end up in a R. Kelly yeah, exactly. video. Like, I know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna keep you safe. I mean. He should trust his daughter at this point, but it's also his daughter. Yeah, Leave. but at that point, you just look at her, it's like, here's a box of condoms, don't be stupid, bye. Yeah, but still, stuff like that is... Retarded. No, but you gotta think of, like, a girl's point of view being like, it's a very private thing. They're not thing. people. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very private thing where they should be able to go, like... Right. Yes, well, I'm gonna go to this. What if every like, guy she brought said, home was a scumbag? Not only have we had the conversation, we have yearly trips to the gynecologist to check the hymen. Why are you doing a black guy voice? I'm not. Oh, not only have we had the talk. Like, <laughs> yes, I go with her. <laughs> this is like, just looking at him, he's like, did you hear him go into it though? <laughs> I'm wondering how much of this I have to cut out. Ah, uh, cut out none of it. For, uh, cut out a lot of it. We have enough. Pouring up the whole thing. We don't have enough viewers for that. <laughs> no, he said, so go and sit down. <laughs> Can't do the voice. Yeah, I yeah, know. don't. Sit down. Just be a fucking adult. Comes don't. in and talk, and the doctor's maintaining a high level of professionalism. T.I. Yeah, said, he's like, you know, sir, I have to in order to share information. I'm like, the liar. They want you to sign this so we can just share talk like a normal fucking human, or I will cut this all out. <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, no, Chad. Here's the part. He's like reading it, and then whenever Ti says a quote, that's what he starts. Yeah. Voice. I don't mean to though. Jesus Christ. Is Chad. there anything you would like? <laughs> is there anything you would not want me to know? See, Doc, ain't no problem. Okay. See, you finished it like a normal human being. But what the fuck did we do to get into this conversation? <laughs> no, then I, I, I will say, as her 18th birthday, her hymen is still intact. Yeah, and on her 18th birthday, she could go fucking blow bang like 12 dudes. That's fine. But she then ain't 18 yet. Mass murders from Ti. <laughs> exactly. If Ti is her dad and he wants, to I just think it's super creepy. It is creepy, but it's it's his fucking kid. Ugh. So what if her hymen were broken? Because you know, of course, yeah, what the like, hell's gonna He's just gonna beat the shit out of her. No, I don't know. Well, now that it's public, if her hymen does get broken, he cannot hit her because fucking people are paying attention now. But I think yeah. he would just disown her, like Jackie Chan did to uh, one of his kids. Yeah, but that was one of the ones that wasn't like. It was what yeah. Of it? Wasn't it like a random mistress? Yeah, but still, it is his flesh and blood, and he fucking yeah. disowned. I'm not. I'm not. Hey, I'm okay, because I, I started, at first I was like, Jackie Chan's such a dick, I love that guy, why is he being mean to that girl? And then I like followed her Instagram and shit, and I was like, oh my god, this woman's terrible. I can see why Jackie Chan was like, go be homeless, you stupid cunt. It's like, you're bad for my image. She refuses to get a job, and she begs for money on the internet, and it's like, okay, fuck you, you know, you deserve all the bad things that happened to you. Can we talk about what you told me the other day about the poor people? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, check this out. New York State has been fucking bussing homeless people for the past 10 years into Rhode Island, Connecticut, and Massachusetts. Paying for their rent for a year and then going, have fun. Might as well. So that's why, and I live in North Kingstown, over like the past five years, I've just been seeing homeless people all over the place. And North Kingstown isn't, it's like an upper middle class kind of area. Um, you know, we're not rich. There's some poor people. Uh, North Kingstown's like super rich. Dirt poor. Yeah, it's one of those where like Wickford, everyone's making over a hundred grand, and then everyone else, everyone's out. Like, Even in your neighborhood, like all that, all yeah, those houses are super rich. You have Mount View over there, and then you get Mount View, which is like basically a trailer park. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, Mount View is anyway, weird. It's like super rich and like shitty houses. The people on the water have the three story houses, yeah. then everyone else is in those like. Y'all uh, stay on your side of the roads. Yeah, basically. But uh, homeless people all over NK. Have you noticed there's a lot more homeless people in Rhode Island? I go thought to it was Chapel View and Garden City. I just go to work and go home. I don't care. I anymore. thought it was because of the economy or something like that. Yeah. Or like, but no, it's New York is going. We don't want homeless people here anymore. Here you go, poor. And states. I'm mad because there's a fucking diddler that panhandles at Chapel View. Yeah. And don't For let sure. Then don't let your kid go over there. Ugh. Still, diddlers. Diddlers should just get the shit beat out of them all no, day. Just, every all their fingers need to be broken at once. Put them in prison and just let the prisoners deal with them. <laughs> Get that you crazy way to chop a stick reform. off. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Yeah, so New York's being dicks again. What a surprise. Yeah, let's shit on the Rhode Island. Yeah. And they specifically said North Kingstown, and it's like, I live there. <laughs> <laughs> Assholes. 
I live in East Providence. What do you want? Ugh, East Providence. I used to... I used to bang a chick in East Providence. <laughs> that drive from NK to East Providence is such a bitch. That's rough. Yeah, I know, because I went from my house to here hey. all the way to fucking your place. I told you, if you wanted me on the podcast, you had to come pick me up. The once. <laughs> the one time, he's like, all right, I don't hate it. I'll drive here. Yeah, that's fun. <laughs> No, it was more just like I didn't want to do it, and I was like, "If you really want me to do it, you have to come get me." And then you guys came and get me, and I was like, "Okay, I guess I'm doing it now." <laughs> it's like now I'm stuck. <laughs> now I'm gonna do it until it ends. You guys want to know a funny story? No. That has really good timing. Chad good has time a, Chad's year. having a baby. They're all over the place. Aggressive gaggle of wild turkeys terrorizing 55 and up community. Why'd you read that in a black voice? That no, wasn't. That wasn't even that. That was him trying to be fucking climactic. And it's, never that. That. it's a fucking group of turkeys. Just fucking no. stab them and cook them. Oh. In a neighborhood of 55 and up community. No, no, no. You have no idea. Turkeys are fucking raptors. That's turkeys fun. are vicious, dude. Like, nah, nah, nah. Who was that kid that was friends with my older brother that went to go like... Like, there was a turkey, and he was like, I'm going to go spook this turkey. So he runs up to it, and it's like, ha, ha, ha. And the turkey jumped up in the air with its talons and started clawing at him, and he put his arms up, and he had fucking, like... I feel like you gashes. mentioned this last week. Yeah, I might have... Like, turkeys fuck people up. Ugh. Tastes yeah. good, though. Oh. Uh, 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 Not these wild turkeys. Oh, just to also give you both a heads up, uh, uh, the Saturday after Thanksgiving, I'm going to be grilling turkey. Cool. Like, full, like, probably not a full turkey, but, like, turkey. I love grilling? to grill, man. Yeah. I'm I welcome love... to come over. Dude, I am so good at grilling. It's the I only, only thing I'm good wood, at. Though. Uh, wood? Right. What kind? Hickory. Mm. Yeah. So, like, I smoked a pork tenderloin. Fucking eighth of a centimeter, eighth of an inch smokering around the whole thing. Oh, my God. It was like bacon in your mouth. Have you guys That's ever good. deep fried a turkey? No. No, but I would. It's I... so good. I've, I've never had deep fried turkey. It's amazing. It's the best thing you'll ever have. But there's this Just dumbasses dangerous. that drop the frozen turkey in the fryer. And then they oh my god! The house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's when we get great stories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember when that was like a thing one Thanksgiving where like twenty houses burnt down because people. Yeah, because everyone was like, "Cause you don't do it inside." We were watching all you can eat, and they were like, "Yeah, deep fry a turkey." <laughs> so deep fry so a turkey. You to go out when it's like thirty degrees. I believe just... all those houses were in the state of Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> There's an explanation why this Mason Dixon line exists. Ugh. What would you do if like a gaggle of turkeys just starting attacking? Book you? it. They're fast. I know, but I think I could outrun a turkey. Get in a car, hit them all. Basically, yeah, like run somewhere where I have a defensive position and then <laughs> three hundred my way <laughs> to victory. I mean, pretty much, yeah. And at that point, you're just like, yeah, wild live caught turkeys for sale. Just <laughs> find a sharp implement, hunker low, and. <laughs> Stab in the face. You see Chris just like swinging his sword around the circle. <laughs> <laughs> like uh, like in Braveheart, the old guy with the staff, when he's surrounded by people, he's just spinning it and cracking skulls. I'm surprised they haven't made like a zombie. Oh, they kind of did. Which one? I was going to say a zombie turkey, but they did that. They did. It. It yeah. was... Dude, there's a zombie turkey movie. Oh, I, I know. That's why it. I yeah. took it back right when I... What's it called? Fucking Turksgiving or something like that? Did Not... you ever see it's Black like Sheep? No. About the zombie sheep. Because New Zealand sheep population is higher than its people population. So then the sheeps get infected with the zombie What, population. like, farm animal would you be most terrified of getting attacked by? A bull. No. As, well, long, as, right. you, as long as you don't Smaller size-wise. No, it's, hor- it's coming to get you. Not horses, cows, or bulls or anything. I mean, it's, it's like coming after you. Tiny cow. Tiny farm animals. Tiny cow? Tiny, tiny cows. Like pigs, chickens. Probably hens. pig. Pigs are vicious. I feel like I could fuck a pig up, though. Like, just no. boot it in the head. I feel like you say you that, but its momentum would just knock you over when you try to kick it. Well, it's okay. not even that. It's also is it like... one of those big, fat pigs, or is it a pig ready for slaughter? It's not Babe. It's uh, one of those fat was... pigs. It's like, why would... <laughs> why would Babe try to hurt me? He's going to bite your ankles. Fuck you. No, he'd be like, hey, pal. <laughs> I saw you eating that bacon. Bar am you. It's probably because you tried to stick true. your dick in it. He's mouth. like, la, 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 as he's biting your ankles. I fucking love Babe. <laughs> I can't believe uh, Robert Zemeckis made that movie. Really? Yeah. That's a great movie. Yeah. That might be his best movie, now that I think about it. He doesn't like Back to the Future. No. The third one was kind of shitty. The first one was good. The no. second one was okay. The first one was great. second one was... It did its job for the story. third one, fucking phenomenal. No. I love the third movie. The third, third one is the trash. cowboy one. Yeah, right? it's so Where good. Where they use the train. And, and they have yeah. so many calls back to like references of the first movie. See, that's Somebody why he calls looked, back? Yeah, he, somebody called like, back and told him... Yeah, no, but it's a callback, like, not a callback. Like, even in the... 
fuck are you? <laughs> even in the and an Asian voice. You're full of racism. Today. <laughs> even wow. In the, no, in the first movie, you see Doc trying to shoot a gun, and he just like can't get it off because he like the safety's on or something. Then in the third movie, he has like the super nice like sniper shotgun rifle thing. Oh, a sniper shotgun rifle. Yeah, it does cool, it all. Dude. <laughs> and does he it just all. like perfectly shoots the thing. Like Marty's on like the rope, and he perfectly shoots, and I'm like. I remember when he couldn't shoot a gun. Now he's in the West. And he yeah, and then the plot kicked in and he could shoot the gun. Yeah, and then he makes a train. Remember when the plot kicked in and he <laughs> found a love interest even though he's Doc and didn't give a fuck about anything except for science? Yeah, yeah then that he was the that, third movie. Let's he meant that, love one interest for no that, just that one vagina that just That one vagina that sang to him. <laughs> That's called the queef, my dude. Yeah, well, uh, music I don't know, I get off to it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard that queef and by God, it came everywhere. You guys are nuts. I love Back to the Future. I don't like Teen Wolf either. Teen Wolf was not a good Teen movie. Wolf was... I don't like Ferris Bueller either. All right, well, Ferris, Ferris Bueller, Bueller is okay. It's not as good like, as everybody says. I don't like the movies where the main character is like, oh, I just get by off being a cunt, you know? like. Yeah, it wasn't him being a cunt. It was, it was literally just him being a high He was schooler. kind of a douchebag. He's like, let's take your dad's Corvette out. He's like, I'll get in a lot of trouble. Oh, come He's on. like, hey, I heard this thing where you go in reverse. It reverses the miles. It's like, you're well, not only that, but like he's like, I'm faking sick, <laughs> right, mom? I'm so cool, and it's like, fuck you, Ferris. If that kid was real and he went to high school and he did any of the shit he did, he would have got his ass kicked daily. Probably that girlfriend like, was hot though. Oh yeah, come on, man. Wasn't she in that movie I Jordan or something like that? The show it was on AMC or something. I Jordan. Uh, is that the one where the kid isn't born without a uh, the kid is born without a gender or something like that? So he's living his life. Am I a boy or am I a girl? No, it was the show that that woman was in. That show sounds really woke. <laughs> Did you guys hear about the Game of Thrones uh, sequel or spinoff that got canceled for being too woke? No. Yeah, yeah. So there's like six um, productions for Game of Thrones spinoffs, and it came down to like these last two. It's only gonna be the Targaryen one that ends up going forward now. Basically, but the one that was competing with it, they saw the pilot, the ninety-three million dollar pilot, and and went nope too woke and it's like what do you mean too woke he's like the main character a black transgendered lesbian dragon lord or something like that like how woke is too woke i can for feel execs? my interest just diminishing every time you speak about this uh, it's, it's just because i don't like game of thrones like even patty first loves four seasons first four seasons no patty good. loves yeah. game of thrones but she's like why the fuck are they making a Targar- targaryen 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 I series. speak English real good. It's because the Targaryens um, settled Westeros first. So it's basically going to... They wanted to do no, a but thing the book on is colonialism supposed... and shit like that. No, but the, yeah, she's like, that's boring. Like, yeah. it's cool to read, and you're like, all right, that's oh, how they did that. she's read all the books? Yeah. Oh, good for her. A lot of people have it. But oh, you mean like the last one that has come out? Yeah. Eh. Did you hear what George R. R. Martin said? He signed a legal binding contract that if um, he's... Uh, ill or about to die or something you are allowed to lock him in a room and force him to finish the last book fatten the bitch up let's do it because he basically was like look i'm not gonna die anytime soon and i know you want this book and i know i write really slow so if shit goes wrong lock me like you signed a contract and said you can imprison me and force How me shitty like you write all the stuff that brings so many people joy and they're so mean to you. Chad, this is the same fucking argument that we had in episode, like, 42. About what, Disney? I don't remember Disney? it back then. No, it was, like, the last, uh... About the fucking series finale of Game of Thrones. It was so bad. Like, who gives a fuck? I was laughing super hard. People wanted to put it out. People didn't want to put it out. You wanted more episodes. They the didn't thing. produce more episodes. Who cares? You could totally tell when D&D got that sweet, sweet Disney Star Wars trilogy they stopped giving a fuck about Game of Thrones and then when they ruined Game of Thrones they lost their Star Wars trilogy so it was like there you go D&D you fucked up you it was it. it wasn't even that they backed off of it because they said they didn't want to do it because Star Wars fan culture is so vicious and they didn't want to go through the same thing they went with Game of Thrones even Kathleen Kennedy's like kind of throwing Captain shade Kennedy at him for that. Can fucking yeah, she can just stop and let oh, you mean like Kevin Feige currently do doing? all the stuff now. Or just stop I say Kevin me. Feige. Stop making you can suck a D. Stop I don't care if it's Star Kevin Feige Wars. or whatever it is. Just just Feige! Isn't it Feig? I don't know. I call him Feige because it sounds better. It's close enough. No, but he's doing the Star Wars shit now. So just stop well, making, just stop making and Star Wars. And right when they're like, Kevin Feige's doing Star Wars, they're like, we're going to take a break with Star Wars movies. I'm like, Good. Yes! They're going to actually take their time and write the movies before Why they not? plan a new fucking trilogy. Hey, did you guys know that uh, Rise of the Skywalkers comes out in December? 
And do you know they had like? Is anyone excited? Do you know they had like George Lucas saw it, I guess, and it was a big mess, and like he saved the movie. Okay, what? Fuck does, George Lucas. Does Jar Jar make an appearance and slip and poop? Probably. George oh, L- who's gonna be the new Jedi? No, dude. It's my Jar Jar. <laughs> Jar Jar Binks is the ultimate evil. No. <laughs> Technically, he was played by a black man. That right? Did you ever read about the black guy who played Jar Jar? Yeah, he fucking tried he to would, kill himself. Yeah, because so. he was getting death threats and stuff he like did, that. It's a terrible fucking character. I mean, it's I not his fault, though. He did exactly fault. what he was supposed yeah. to. If I can say something before Ooh. the both of you jump right in my asshole. Ooh. Thank you. Continue. Holy shit. I felt everything inside of me just get pushed a few inches farther. Jesus. The, anyway, dude didn't yeah. des- the dude didn't deserve the shit that he got. Yeah, but you're fucking yelling at him. I'm, I'm, I'm not yelling at him. Just Jar Jar's a bad character because because yeah, <laughs> metachlorians are a thing that should have been existed. Which George, is... George Lucas is so bummed they dropped the metachlorians thing too. It's yeah, they hilarious. needed to. They need to because the force was before it was just this thing that connects yeah, us. Now it's you inside have, us and it's inside makes everybody everything. the same. Yeah, but Chris is. Now you have Broom Kid. Fuck what? Broom Kid. What a dumb Last scene. Jedi, what it's a like fucking he kind of moves scene. the broom with the force and he's like this How kid, the fuck would he know? This slave kid is like sweeping on that fucking gambling planet. Dagobah? No, the gambling planet. The does, Cloud does, City or no, no, the one from the new one. No one even knows the yeah, planets in the new ma- one. It like doesn't... everyone knows Dagobah, Yavin, fucking Tatooine, Hoth. Everyone knows all the old planets. We'll have a Star Wars debate one day. Coruscant. Because I, I fucking love the Force Awakens. Dantooine. Force Palusha. Awakens is really good. Did you know they named a planet Fallujah? <laughs> and that's that city in Iraq where it's like constant warfare all day, every day. <laughs> and they named it Fallujah. This is why we can't have nice things. What were you saying though? Pussy forks. Uh, no one knows the planets uh, in, in the new Star Wars. I can't name a single fucking... Oh, what was the point of bringing up the casino planet? Oh, uh, that little kid <laughs> is sweeping the kid. fucking thing. Oh, yeah. And he fucking grabs the broom. And you're like, ooh, Jedi's. And then, you know, back to the shitty movie. I'm so mad that, like, Ryan Johnson keeps putting out things being like, I'm still making my trilogy, even though, like, a while ago, Disney's like, he's not making his trilogy. Did you see when But then someone... the Game of Thrones guys quit, so they're like, well, how about that trilogy, Ryan Johnson? Did you see him have a meltdown on Twitter? No. Oh. So someone, like, wrote, like, just, like, this whole thing, like, hey, man, like, I love Star Wars, but here's some, like, pointers on what you did wrong. And then he's like, oh, my dick, fuck you. And he's like, bro, I'm not even attacking you i'm just like, like i'm just wanting I'm, to have conversation yeah i'm just having a conversation i'm just critiquing oh my dick fuck you oh you think your dick's so big because you made fun of me and it's just like ryan bro you look like a fucking piss ant right now you look like a whiny little bitch that ruins star wars and knows it jesus love him or leave him see i, I feel know. like his whole thing was like they didn't have a main story to go with so i'm just gonna shit on it and with try what? to do with the when they made the Force Awakens, they didn't actually have like a. So they, that was the first one, right? Force yeah. Awakens was the first one. But they didn't have like a planned storyline. J.J. Abrams had it all in his head of what he wanted to do. For some should have just for like some J. J. fucking Abrams weird reason. J.J. Abrams didn't. I think he was doing it. Star Wars or uh, Star Trek. No, he stopped doing Star Trek to do Star Wars. Oh okay, those Star Trek movies sucked. The first one wasn't bad. Yeah, but okay, I'll agree to that. Yeah, the first one wasn't bad, but then the second one, it was like, what the fuck's happening? And then the third one, that's even bigger explosions. And you were like. I was like, I thought the third one was supposed to be more Star Trek than anything. Because Simon Pegg jumped on the writing crew, and it was more Star Trek. It was better. But it was still explosions, beastie boys, sex, violence, and it's like, if you want... Like, the first one was good with the whole black hole theory. That was awesome. The second one was like... That was awful. Although, the scene where... um, Okay, so Vulcan has no moons. Yeah. And then it cuts to Leonard Nimoy standing on the moon of Vulcan, watching Vulcan get blown up. And you're just like... That's not right. And I've seen every episode of Star Trek. You think more. Leonard Nimoy would be like, guys, oh, money thinks. Yeah, exactly. Leonard <laughs> Nimoy was like, man, I haven't acted in a while, and no, oh, that's a big Did number. Did he die? <laughs> yeah, he died shortly after. He was the voice of one of the villains in Kingdom Hearts. The I main villain of Kingdom Hearts. No. He did Xanort. He was like I the final boss. No idea. I think Leonard Nimoy probably saw the Star Trek movie and was like... I need to fix this. Or I just... He I, was like, I'm video done. games are a good idea. No, it wasn't even that. He's like, I'm done. I just... After Generations, they should have stopped making Star Trek movies. Because Generations was a fucking mess. It was a thing. It was so bad. A lot of people like Beyond. Enterprise wasn't bad. The TV show? Yeah. I liked it a lot, man. I liked it... Alright, it hit its stride just before it got cancelled. And it was like... 
you know, the Makos were a thing. They had the Andorians on the ship. Like, the Federation was becoming a thing. They were out doing missions, and it's canceled. And it was like, it's still ah. weird to think of, like, a Star Trek show getting canceled. I know. Voyager should have been canceled. Voyager was trash, but... And Deep Space Nine. Deep Space Nine isn't Star Trek in my mind. How do you feel about that statement? Voyager was better. I don't know. Voyager had some good... Voyager ep- versus Deep Space Nine. What are you going to watch first? Deep Space Nine, I think. Just because I love Quark. He's such a good character. A Ferengi bar guy that's all about making money and fucking people over. Oh, I love Quark. And Odo was cool. But, like, the idea that it's Star Trek and they're stuck on a space station and they're not exploring. Okay, yeah, that's you know, not like, Star Trek. And the fucking... What are they Do you guys remember when William Shatner had sex with an alien? Yeah, that's the new movies. That's... It was in the old show, too. He did it a couple times. But William Shatner... Uh, Captain Kirk back then was, uh, like... He, he wasn't like a run and gun like Han Solo character. He was like a very by the books, strategically minded captain. And then in the new movies, they just were like people remember him shooting, punching, and fucking. So those are the only things we're gonna. Well, show. I mean, like, it they made him like a super kind of derpy, like yeah. yeah. I mean, it makes sense with the whole time travel thing, which I found kind of interesting for the first movie. It was a good idea. Yeah, but I just wish the Romulans hadn't blown up Vulcan and then fucked the Federation up. Were you upset your favorite yeah. Chris was in that movie? I like Chris Pine. Um, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm not upset that he was there. I like him. I like my least seeing... favorite Chris. Really? Have you seen Hell or High Water? No. Watch Hell or High Water. It'll change your opinion. So on the third Who's movie... your favorite Chris? I know yours. It's probably you. You're your favorite Chris, right? No, I hate myself. What do oh, you want? Jesus. <laughs> You like Chris Pine? Chris Pine, Chris Hemsworth, Chris Evans. Chris Evans is my favorite. Ooh, that's Christian a... Bale. He's no. a Chris. Fucking shut up. <laughs> I think that's a solid three-way tie between the three of them. No, Chris Evans. No, nope, Christopher Lee. Chris Rock. Chris Rock is awesome. Come on. He's okay. Uh, he felt Christopher the Lord. Lee is great though. He's a priest now. Who? No, I was thinking of Chris Tucker. Yeah, Chris Tucker's a priest. Yeah, he's a priest now. He made all his money off Rush Hour and then found God. So, good for him. Oh, no, uh... Oh, what the hell is it? Christopher Lloyd. Christopher Lloyd's great, Christopher Lloyd's great. Lloyd's too. great. He's still kicking, I'm too. Melting. Wait, is that good. Christopher Lloyd? Yeah. yeah. yeah it's yeah. fucking horrifying as a kid. That whole movie well, was fucking head Who framed Roger Rabbit? No, I thought you were talking about Jumanji. Damn, bro, <laughs> you Jumanji, look confused. bringing it back to fucking... Robin Williams. Yeah. <laughs> I love Jumanji. Did you see the new Jumanji? Yeah. It wasn't as bad as wasn't I thought. It great, though. <coughs> it's different. I liked I liked that The Rock was in it. That's the only reason I enjoyed and it. And now fucking Danny DeVito is in a new one. I know. So, so it's like, I have to see it. I gotta though, see it. I it's like, like Danny DeVito playing The Rock character, yeah. which is gonna be hilarious. So, come on. You don't like Danny DeVito. If you say you don't like Danny DeVito, I don't know if I can speak to you anymore. I liked him better when he wasn't completely crazy. But that's his shtick now. Well, he's actually, not completely crazy. He's perfectly sane, but he knows how to make money and exactly. do all this money Did you ever stuff. see, uh, you ever watch the show Taxi? Yeah. Yeah, so you know how he's like a fucking money-grubbing piece of yeah. shit asshole? So that's what he was playing that character for a while. Then he did Twins with Arnold Schwarzenegger and realized, oh shit, I'm actually really funny. It's I like, I'm entertaining. I think he directed comedy. Death by Smoochie. No, I thought that was Jon Stewart. Nope. You also know Dana he Vito. directed uh-huh. uh, Matilda and then yeah. took, took care of uh, the girl Matilda when her mother yeah, Patty was, was telling me that having day cancer day. and dying. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah Danny girl, DeVito's an awesome person. The girl who played Matilda, her mother was dying of cancer. Danny DeVito took care of the girl who played Matilda and then showed the mother a rough cut of Matilda before she died. Oh, that's she so got to see cool. Matilda first and then died. Danny yeah. DeVito's a cool guy. Danny DeVito's probably one of my favorite celebrities. He's a saint. He's like a dirty person and it's awesome. Well, always sunny. Ratchet it up. No, you dirty. watch him on like interview shows. He like just does. He doesn't dress up super. Oof. Sorry. No, yeah, Danny DeVito is awesome. That, okay. though. <laughs> oh, Danny DeVito is like he just doesn't give a fuck about anything. He's just like I'm a guy. I'm. What did we say? Seventy four. I'm a sixty four year old man. Oh, I, we were talking about a, one of the podcasts. We tried to figure out his. Anyway, he's like something with a four. Yeah, and, he's old, and he doesn't give a shit anymore. What Dude, he's so funny yeah. with the white hair now. <laughs> The white hair and the beard. You know he could just. You know he could just. He's a fat Albert comb, Einstein. He could just comb it if he wanted to. Yeah, but he's just like, fuck ah, it. it's awesome. <laughs> I'm the penguin man. Can you add this? She just put a big picture of his face up. No. Do like twelve, like one, two. <laughs> no, just the three of us over our faces. Have I'm like so no mad. Take. Have you seen those super realistic Danny DeVito masks? No. Oh my God. They're so good. I need to get one. No, go watch the deep fakes that are like of all the new. 
of all the people that are out, they're fucking disturbing as shit. Yeah, Collider is doing a lot of them. Dude, but what was it? They look like bobbleheads because the heads are always a little too big for the bodies. Yeah, go watch the deep I'm fake real quick. Oh, you might miss the ending. Huh? You might miss the ending. Eh, I'll be back. Allegedly. No, the deep fake of uh, what was the movie with the guy who like shot people in the face with the air compressor? Um, Chris. No country. No country. For old men. Yeah. Oh, those are weird. <laughs> I nice want titties, that. Though. Yeah. Chad, you got some nice titties in that picture. I got my super A's. Dude, yeah, like, he's... They did some deep fakes of that with, uh... What's his name? Leonardo DiCaprio and Arnold Schwarzenegger. And, like, mm. they're really good. You can Google and find them. There's a funny one they have now of George Lucas just, like, shitting on Star Wars movies. That's uh, deserved, though. It's really funny. He hated his own series. He's a bad human. No. Fuck George Lucas. He just doesn't know how to direct, but he writes... I feel like if somebody else directed the prequels, they would have had enough sense to fix all the problems in it. Chad's just coming in his pants over fucking Star Wars, and I don't know how to feel about it. He gave us Star Wars. I don't give a fuck. You're just a hater. No, I hate stupid fucking people. I love Star Wars. I'm a Disney shill. That's no, Chris you're just over there. Bitch. Aren't I a Disney show? Yeah, totally. You love Disney, you love Nintendo. That's Chris and I love Nintendo. I don't like Nintendo. I mean, I like Nintendo because of my childhood. <laughs> but as a company currently, I don't really like what they're doing. What do you mean? Uh, what was their most recent, like, new IP? True. Yeah, exactly. Same with Capcom. Like, what's their most recent new IP? Dude, if you have shit that isn't broke, don't try to fix it. You know what I'm saying? I like but, how they've at least innovated the Legend of Zelda series. Uh, I didn't play Breath. The last Zelda I played was uh, Majora's Mask. So I'm kind of way out of the loop. But I mean, after, as soon as you hit Ocarina of Time, it's all the same. Yeah. So, like, playing Breath of the Wild compared to anything is amazing. Well, what's your... Uh, I almost burped. And here we go. All right. Uh, besides Breath of the Wild, what's your uh, favorite Zelda? God, you two are fucking shitty bladders. He had Holy cancer, and fuck. I have fucking oh, metabolic oh. disorders. Um, top. I can give you my top three. Uh, just give me your number one besides Breath. Twilight Princess. Zelda two. Chat. Of course, Chad likes Zelda two. Zelda two is not a bad, not a bad video game. It's not a good Zelda it's game. It's not a good Zelda. Mine's Link to the Past. I loved Link to the Past, like, to no end. Yeah. But it's just, like, Twilight Princess had that element of realism, except for him turning into a dog, that I really liked. It, um, it looked Oh, cool. it was beautiful. It looked coolish. I remember, because I didn't have a Wii, and I and was like... And you played on the GameCube, where it no, should have been played. No, I didn't have it on the GameCube either, because my GameCube had broke, and I was uh, like, I was like, fuck, I really want that game. So, I like, that's where I stopped, because I didn't have the money to, yeah. to buy it. But yeah, I really liked um, Link's Awakening and uh, Link to the Past and uh, not Minish Game. Four, the Four Seasons? What's it called? Four, the one with four Links? Four Seasons. Yeah, that oh, no, one was... uh, Four Swords Adventure. Yeah, that one was cool too. Yeah, but I don't know. It... You broke it? No. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's Don't walk in front of me. It's like Odyssey. <laughs> like Odyssey's a very good Mario game. Yeah. Uh, it broke the mold of like, yeah, you go from world to world and do specific shit. And like shit. gravity like, is different and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, like you know, I thought that was unique it's and interesting. Impressive. But it's just like with Nintendo, it's like, what makes them money is Smash Brothers, obviously. Like, Smash Brothers is a billion dollar Mario property. Kart. Yeah. Mario Kart, less than Smash Brothers, then whatever Mario comes out. And a Zelda game. Plus, like, how much money does Nintendo get from like those tournaments with Smash Bros and stuff? So much money, but where's where you know if we're where's if, Metroid? Yes, I was just to say, where's my well, Metroid? New Prime coming Dude, out how soon. good was Metroid Prime? It was so good. It was so fucking good. Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime Two, Echoes, Metroid Prime I liked Three, Echoes. Corruption. Yeah, but isn't there I a new Metroid play. Prime coming out? Didn't they like recently? Four, the uh, and stuff? four has been announced, but there's nothing coming up about it. Where's my uh, where's my F Zero game? Never gonna be seen yeah, again. Yeah, I know. Like, where's where? my Excite Bike? Never. Where's my kung fu? No, I mean, come on. Kung what fu. do you really want? Old? Where's my boy in his blob? You know, like if that's they what could make a cool indie boy. kung fu game. 
Paperboy was so. I love Paperboy, dude. Dude, I used it's to, so hard. When I used to sleep over at my grandparents' house, me and my brother would hook up the NES and just play Paperboy all fucking night. That's why I want to switch. I could play all these games for free. Not free. You pay like what twenty bucks a year, dude. That's a fucking joke compared to PlayStation it's, Plus. It's, it's so good. Ninety nine a year on PlayStation, PlayStation Plus. Plus. And then dude, on Black Friday they're coming out with a sale for. I think it's like fifty bucks. What? Yeah. PS Plus? Plus. Yeah, but that's only a year for fifty bucks. I'll buy it. Yeah. Fuck it. If right. I'm not paying a hundred bucks a year. No, no, no. It's the first year is fifty bucks. Then it's gonna no. go back to normal price. If it, if that's the fucking way it is, then how dare they do that? Oh, no, I bought can... into the ninety nine. No, I should get you fifty can, then. You can probably pay. The no. No, because you can probably pay like the fifty bucks and you like buy three different like per... additions. Yeah, yeah. I just want to switch, man. No, you don't. Uh, you do, just for the fact of, like, you don't have to have an SNES or an NES Check anymore. Check this out. Would you rather own a Switch or send your daughter to college? Oh, he's thinking. Dude, <laughs> I would easily have said daughter college. No. Maybe if I send her to college, she could buy me a Switch. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Dude, at that point, like, the, the Switch you will be out. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, remember, you gotta get that degree in biochemistry because Dad needs a Switch. I want an NES, too, and that would be like $1,000 for an NES at that point. Your second kid. Dude, I'm gonna... so mad I sold my NES. I have my NES. I was I, such an idiot. Like, back in high school, like, I just wanted to get beer. So I sold my NES. I think it was, like, either 30 or 60 bucks. I can't remember. You're a fucking twat. So I sold it to my substitute science teacher, and in his head, I imagine him being, like, fucking idiot. I <laughs> sold my Sega Genesis. Uh, we had a Sega Genesis, and then we had, like, a box that was, like, this big, and about hu- this high off the table, full of Sega Genesis games, and uh, it was just like, I don't want this anymore, and my dad was like, I'm gonna sell it, and I, me and my brothers were like, yeah, fuck it, and then looking back, it's like, dude, I had, like, 100, 200 Sega games with you a Sega. Had, like, like, I had a gold a mine. Pinnacle. Yeah, I had every Sega game, and I could've Sold it to some idiot, but uh, you were the idiot who sold it. I was it. the idiot who sold it when it was worth nothing. I just got mad when my mom gave my N64 to my cousin. My parents never did that shit. I was so happy. I was so mad. I remember just going to my house, being like, "Hey, where's the N64?" She's like, "I gave it to your cousin." I'm like, "Why?" The N64 great. was a good console. It wasn't the greatest though. Uh, I mean, that's that arguable, good... though. Like, PlayStation... All right, PlayStation is the clear winner, but N64 had some good properties. I feel like N64 had a, lot of good, had a lot of good, like, party games. Yeah, N64 Where if you was want to play with your friends. Party, Mario Kart. Yeah, but they were it had, like, the racing in, games and stuff. In GameCube. Luigi, Luigi's Mansion, yeah. Smash, uh, Super Mario Sunshine, Sunshine. All of the Mario Party games that came out on that thing. Uh, Before fucking they get Star Fox Assault. I'm so mad at the new Mario Party, man. The fact that it's not a competition, really. It's like, we're all going to ride on the same boat. We're all going to work together. And it's like, no, the whole point was to no, laugh new, at your friend when he rolled one. No, the one. newest one on the Switch is better. Oh, did they go back to everyone moves independently? Yeah. All right, good. Well, good good for you, Nintendo. Do you Step have it? in the right direction. No. Oh. Oh. Fucking, why would I buy it if it's only me and Nicole? Yeah. Hey. You got us. Now I do. Yeah. It doesn't mean I want to buy You've always it, had huh? me. <sighs> Allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly, this is the end of Just Your Average Podcast, episode 54. Clap sync. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and that bell to be notified. <laughs> Fucking waveform that I just made. Oh, uh, nah. Don't forget to check us out on the Instas and the Twits. Should I cut my hair or not? I'm really confused and debating it. Light. Like, like, cut your that's hair. what I was thinking, like yeah. right here. But no, last then you're gonna look like a lesbian. Well, I last time I went to go get. He'd a make a hot fucking lesbian. I'm just saying. Actually, when I cut my hair short, I look just like Ellen DeGeneres. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> Do it. No, not again. Go to our Patreon, and Chris will cut his hair. Uh, donate a dollar, and yeah. I'll just I'll do something. Donate money. I'm going to donate my hair if I do get it cut, so there's some incentive. Give us yes. $1,000, and I'll get a tattoo of Chris and Chris on my butt. One on each cheek, both of us yeah, kissing. Yeah, high-fiving. <laughs> and then when you open the hole, it's us kissing. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Touch yourself and not others. Touch your butt. Yeah, do that too.